Emil Durkheim's Theory of Collective Consciousness Emil Durkheim's Theory of Collective Consciousness is a key concept in his sociological framework. Collective consciousness refers to the shared beliefs, values, norms, and knowledge that exist within a society and shape individuals' behavior and social interactions. Here is an explanation of Durkheim's theory of collective consciousness. Social integration Durkheim believed that collective consciousness plays a crucial role in maintaining social integration and solidarity within a society. It serves as a binding force that brings individuals together, creating a sense of belonging and shared identity. Through collective consciousness, individuals internalize and conform to the norms and values of their society, ensuring social cohesion. External coercion Collective consciousness operates as a form of external coercion, exerting social control over individuals' behavior. It sets boundaries and expectations for acceptable conduct, guiding individuals' actions and behaviors. Deviation from the collective consciousness may result in social sanctions, as individuals are held accountable to the shared norms and values of the group. Social facts According to Durkheim, collective consciousness exists as a social fact, independent of individual consciousness. It is a product of socialization processes, passed down from generation to generation through social institutions such as family, education, religion, and the legal system. Collective consciousness shapes individuals' perceptions judgments, and actions, influencing their behavior in various social contexts. Moral order. Collective consciousness establishes a moral order within society by defining what is morally right or wrong, acceptable or unacceptable. It provides a framework for individuals to evaluate their own behavior and the behavior of others. The shared beliefs and values of the collective consciousness serve as a moral compass, guiding individuals' choices and actions. Anami Durkheim also discussed the concept of Anami, which refers to a state of normlessness or moral confusion within a society. Anami occurs when the collective consciousness weakens or becomes disrupted, leading to a breakdown in social integration. This can happen during times of rapid social change or when individuals feel disconnected from the shared values and norms of their society. Social order and stability Durkheim argued that a strong collective consciousness is essential for maintaining social order and stability. It provides a foundation for social cooperation, solidarity, and the smooth functioning of society. When individuals share common beliefs and values, they are more likely to work together towards common goals and adhere to societal norms. In summary, Emil Durkheim's theory of collective consciousness emphasizes the significance of shared beliefs, values, norms, and knowledge in maintaining social integration and regulating individual behavior within a society. Collective consciousness acts as a form of external coercion, establishing a moral order and providing a sense of social cohesion. It is an essential component for social order and stability, fostering social integration and maintaining the fabric of society. Emil Durkheim